What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for June 15th, 2021. So we have the end coming up of this amazing anniversary event. I know some people have complained that, you know, in previous years we got an artifact like selection chest. This year we got so many swaps between artifact swaps, uh, hero copy swaps. I mean like doing, it's kind of amazing that doing 600 scrolls is like the minimum entry to get some really, really amazing rewards, especially if you had a bunch of gems saved up as well. But overall, this event has been absolutely amazing. But moving on next week, we have Imps Adventure. We have a couple things going on next week and we have a brand new update coming to the Tap Tap test server about the new pvp modes remember all those changes we talked about last week or actually like two weeks ago on the first fifth anniversary <laughs> live stream well guess what those are already starting to happen on the tap tap test servers later this week we'll have all the breakdown but we do have a teaser preview so make sure you guys take one second hit that subscribe button don't miss out on any of the news and let's jump right into it <laughs> All right, as always, let's check out next week's event first in the event preview. So we do have Imps Adventure. One big thing with this Imps Adventure is the five-star hero chest should now have Fiona in it. So that is a big plus for that chest to get that magical 200 stars. So make sure you save up 4,500 gems. I know you guys just probably blew a ton of gems on the anniversary event, but if you can get back up to 4,500, which in a week shouldn't be too difficult, as long as you're doing your monthly quest, you're doing all your daily uh, gem production, you should be able to get there pretty easily you just might have to cut back on what you're buying in the marketplace like hold off on cores potentially it just depends on how much you really want to try to get that five star hero chest now speaking of the chest you're going to need the dice and you're going to need to do the shelter mission now this is probably one of the best shelter missions we've had in a while uh not top tier but really good mainly not due to unimax not flora not marax but there's another ithaca the amount of times and this is why i say ithaca is one of the easiest first e5 heroes to build is because she's given out in these events so often she's in brave trials there's just so many easy ways to get ithaca copies and overall she's probably like top three top four first e5 heroes to build she does struggle a little bit with sea land in the early game getting it done solo eventually she can get it done solo with some tick supports maybe some void imprints things like that there are better options like inosuke and eloise if you're looking for only sea land progress but the thing with ithqua she's one of the few first e5s you can build that is going to last you from day one on your account all the way to day one billion i mean she's useful in every pve content she's really good against void arc bosses so she's really really good the light hero bell range stay far away from now the almond rod this is the first time i'm actually gonna say spending though i think it's two thousand gems and two dark fodder five star heroes might be worth it for Amon Ra. She's always coming in and out of the PvP meta. Her Guardian Shadow is just such a unique ability, plus her Healing Curse counters a lot of heroes like Sword Flash, things like that. She just has so many potential uses. She's, of course, used even just as a 5-star in clearing Sealand 20 Dark Faction. She's just probably one of the best ones we've ever seen in the Dark Faction pop up in Shelter. So if you can afford it, and you need her, definitely consider it. If you're not already planning on building her or going for Dark Sea Land, you could probably pass if the gems are a little too pricey. But again, this is very, very good. And of course, we have the second week of Grey Dwarf Blessing. Besides that, it doesn't look like we have a special Imps Adventure package, which we normally do. It wouldn't surprise me if Thursday we see one pop up for a like a small dice pack or something like that. We just always have it. So make sure you check those out because they're going to be pretty good. Now we got to move on to something really exciting, and that is the spoilers about the upcoming PvP arena changes. Okay, so yes, we have everything's in Chinese right now, but they do start out with saying hello, everyone. Remember those arena integration changes we talked about on the fifth anniversary live stream? Well, we have some news for you today. We have, of course, the current four different game modes here. We have Crystal Crown League. We have uh, Trial of Champion, Free Team Arena, and then IDA. Those are all the icons for them. Uh, Interdimensional Arena is the last one. But we have some things to go over. So, 
Crystal Crown League. This is the first one we need to talk about. This one is going to have a very similar opening level as it does right now to the current game. But one huge difference is that when Crystal Crown League seasons has been completed 10 times on a server. So this is depending on the server. New servers will still have the traditional Crystal Crown League in the game at the beginning. But once it reaches to 10 times, 10 seasons completed, it is going to be closed. It's going to disappear. You won't see it on your server anymore. When the arena integration update is completed, any server that has already completed 10 seasons will automatically have this game mode closed. So that's, that's pretty traditional. That's the same. Next up. We have, I don't know if this is a translation issue, but of course this is the typical trial of champion icon. On here in the translation, it says the time wheel arena. So again, the opening conditions are very similar before, but after the Crystal Crown League is closed, there will only be three entrances in the main arena interface. So you'll lose out on that top Crystal Crown. You will have, so again, this one says Chrono Wheel Arena which at the top says time wheel arena. So I don't know which name they're going to be going for. They're also going to have the champions trial and they're going to have team arena. So it's going to be, I guess, I guess you could say time wheel arena champions trial and then team arena. I don't know. We got to really be careful with this because the translations are not that great. At the same time, don't worry about the lost resources that you would generate from the crystal crown league. They will be lumped in to the time wheel arena so it seems like you're just going to get them added into a different section which you know isn't that bad of a idea i mean the less things you got to do every day is not bad in my opinion so a new button to save team lineups is going to be here so for the team arena and you know what, just for my own reference let's pop open the game i want to see what the icons are for each one of these and see how it lines up at the same time so this might be a little big on your screen here but let's open it up let's get into the game i want to take a look at the pvp icons that are currently there and compare them to what they are right now so in arena yes we have uh actually this is a little different so the time wheel arena looks like it means interdimensional arena so interdimensional arena is where a lot of the crystal crown arena i mean you guys can't see it right here but essentially um yeah it looks like that's the icon for it so interesting very interesting so this one right here is talking about interdimensional arena i should have known that from the chrono wheel because if i remember correctly back when we had ida coming out it always talked about chrono wheel so this one here is where all the traditional crystal crown league resources are going to be put into so okay that's interesting i wonder if there's going to be any type of changes to ida then or if because i mean crystal crown league is pretty iconic solo lineup six heroes maybe they're trying to move away from that and really reinforce adding or having multiple teams on your accounts being the main mainstay here okay so the next one is going to be the friend teams a new button to save your team lineups will be added to the interface that's kind of a nice quality of life because if you guys remember right now for free team up arena, you have to like literally set your team every single time it opens. I'm hoping that means it saves it. Click the button to pop up the team entry interface and click the play button to save your team's lineup. The place where the original character information showed the defensive lineup in Crystal Crown League will now be adjusted to show your defensive lineups that you save. After the update is completed, when Crystal Crown League is closed, the defense lineup from Crystal Crown will automatically synchronize with the defensive lineups for friend team battles. Okay, that is interesting. That is good. Okay. Now, it does look like there's going to be some adjustments here. Because, of course, we're not going to have Crystal Crown League on every server. Daily mission, complete three battles of the Crystal Crown League in Arena will be adjusted to complete three battles in any arena except Team Arena. So Team Arena doesn't count. I guess it just means do three battles in IDA. I mean, that's kind of good because we're already stretched really thin with those Arena tickets. And being that maybe we don't have to deal with those three attacks every single day in Crystal Crown. It'll be interesting because we get free attacks in Crystal Crown Arena. Or in, yeah, Crystal Crown Arena. League. Whatever. 
I wonder if we're going to get free attacks in IDA now. The other thing they're going to be changing, well, let's go over the first part here. Uh, the monthly activities are also going to be changing. So instead of uh, having the current system, there's going to be two different types of points, militant points and champion points. Uh, the militant points are obtained through Crystal Crown League and the new, of course, as that closes, the uh, IDA, the championship points will be obtained through Trial of the Champion. So Trial of the Champion is staying. That is something they're not changing, which I think is good because it's a really nice new game mode where it's different than the typical ones you're used to seeing. So Militant points, three points per win in Crystal Crown League. Crystal Crown League loses or losses count as one point. A victory in IDA will give you five points. So that's really, really good. And two points for a failure. So once Crystal Crown League stops on your server, you'll get five points per win in IDA, two points per loss. Not bad. Championship points, I think, stay unchanged. The Champions Trial wins give you three points, one point for a loss. I believe that's the same as the current Trial of the Champion, so not too bad. Interesting. And then after the arena integration is completed and updated, the current activity progress will remain unchanged, so they'll just substitute the points for you. Really, really good. They say regarding this integration of Arena, it is expected to launch on the Android tap tap test servers first thing this week. And then, of course, we'll probably get it on our servers later on in like, you know, usually things like this take about a month to hit our live servers. Although they've been a lot faster lately getting them from the tap tap test server over to the Android and iOS server. So not too bad. So let me know what you guys think. No more Crystal Crown League. All right, that's different. No, we're not. We're kind of doing away with the just solo six hero lineups. Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I know a lot of people focus on just their six main heroes, but with things like Void Arc and things like that, where you really want to prioritize having like 15 heroes, that does kind of push you more to the Trial of Champion S type thing. We're going to have to see because that does mean at certain points when IDA closes during the monthly closing section, are we going to just have no PVP to do? That's going to be really interesting. And I wonder how that's going to play into the dailies as you're not going to be able to attack anything once IDA is open. So it's really interesting to see. I can't wait till it goes live on the tap tap test servers. We'll jump on. We'll take a look at all of them, see what the changes are. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.